Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing awesome today. I'm bringing a how-to video to you about how to replace any sort of hydraulic lift support for anything that opens on your vehicle, such as your hood, maybe your tailgate, hatch, whatever it is on your vehicle. If that hydraulic goes out, if it's hydraulically supported, of course, assuming that you don't have to use a prop already as it is, it can be a real pain because sometimes it'll come down and slam you on the back of the head when you're working or when you're loading things in and out, groceries, whatever. So to solve that problem today, I'm going to show you guys how to replace those. And hopefully you'll find this to be really informative. It's going to be on a 2010 Chevrolet Suburban um, and it'll be the actual back glass, not the whole giant uh, rear lift tailgate. I am recording inside right now, so the lighting is a little bit crummy because outside somebody's power washing right next door, so I might have to do a voiceover for this video. If that is the case, hopefully you guys find it um, just as useful and informative as if I was narrating as I work, but uh, let's go ahead and look at what we need. Right here we have a brand new gas lift support, hydraulic kind of thing like this. We have another over here, and essentially, let me go over and show you guys this. So as you can see, there is the counterpart of our new parts, um, this old one here and that one over there. And as you can see, if I'm not holding this up with my arm, it falls down. That does pose us a bit of a problem with working on it, if you think about it. So because if I put it all the way up, it'll fall down. I don't, I don't really trust that. So I'm going to need to find something else to prop it up with. And the power washing has begun. So, so as you guys can see, we have a broken broom handle that I'm actually using as a prop. I have it um, nudged in here so it doesn't slip out and likewise down here. So if you look, you want to compare your old connectors with your new connectors, it looks like you're going to be good there. And right now I'm gonna have to figure out how to take these old clips off. Hopefully it's a nice, quick, simple, and easy thing to do and not a lot of hassle. I'm also going to gently disconnect these electrical connectors for the rear defroster, just pull on them. And there you go, they come off just like that. We'll just let them hang for now. Um, that's just so that we have good space to work and no wires to get in the way. All right, so basically, what you have to do, you're gonna to wanna to wiggle the screwdriver into it like that. And once you do so, all right, and once you've done that with this one, just repeat up there at the top. It is a bit more difficult to do the top one. Um, however, because it is higher up um, and a bit more awkward, I like to take off the bottom one first since that one's right there and easy to get to so that you can move this one around and flex it as you need to. It's the same process. You just wedge the screwdriver in and then pop it. And voila, just like that. And now that you've done that, you're going to take your brand new lift support Look to see how the other side is set up. I know that that is the new one. I replaced it already so that I would know what I'm doing when I show you guys. So it looks like we want to put this metal connected side onto this bottom clip and we'll put the other side onto the top clip. Um, let's start again with the bottom. So just look at them, line them up, and then press the new attachment into place. That's clipped on now. It's never coming off until you destroy it, just like I did with the stock ones. And then I'm going to have to uh, not film for this second part, uh, but you just do the exact same thing that you did with that bottom ball joint. You just push on the top connector and then you're good to go. So you'll have to hold it up by hand when you do this. It can be helpful to have a helper to do this job, but as you guys can see, I'm getting along just fine and I'm holding a camera as I do it too. And voila, now our back glass stays open and lifts on its own again. It doesn't fall down, it raises itself. That's awesome. So just need to reconnect these electrical connectors should be no trouble sliding that on. Likewise with the other. There we go. Make sure they're on. Just like that. Now if we open it. Oh, that's awesome. It works again. And so they will need to loosen up a little bit but once they have it's just like brand new so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was really short i didn't have time to really film a video last weekend because i was busy working on a whole ton of different things and so this is kind of just a in the week kind of quick little job that i was able to do hopefully next week i will be able to show you guys the process of replacing my idler pulley on my truck which is something that i've really needed to do for quite some time now it's been making this awful squeaking noise probably since december um so it's been a couple months and i found the problem finally about 
month and a half ago, month ago, something like that. And so part did come in, so it's ready to go on. I just need to find the time to do it. And hopefully you guys will be able to see that very, very soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful and informative, please go ahead, hit that like button. If there's something they didn't like so much go ahead down go down there leave a comment tell me how i can improve or just tell me what you thought of the video in general share this video with all your friends in case any of the hydraulics on any of their lift supports go out on their vehicles so they can see exactly how easy it is to do with the clip style ones this literally took me um 30 minutes and that was with filming um, without filming you could easily do this 10 minutes no problem you just need a smaller screwdriver so you can pry those clips off and then really it's super easy they just pop right on and it works great so peace out guys hope you enjoyed